What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the Truck Camper Build Series. Now, this design right here was made by Knox Garage. Make sure you go follow him on Instagram. He is the man behind this beautiful design. And as soon as I saw this picture here, I knew I wanted this in the back of my truck. So let's get into the video. So I started with a half inch piece of plywood. I used a truck bed mat to trace out the plywood. Pro tip, made it super easy. I used a jigsaw to cut out the plywood. Then I used half inch insulation glued to the bottom. Made sure everything fit in the truck and wrapped it in some black speaker carpet. I then started cutting out some one inch home insulation, which I got at Home Depot. And I fitted that into the sides of the bed, as you can see here. I wrapped everything in carpet. The next step was to pick up some extruded aluminum from tnuts.com. Everything will be in the description, all the links you need to buy everything. I'm using 10 series extruded aluminum in black. I started putting everything together, making sure it would fit in the back of the truck, and it fit well enough. The next step was to cut out the panels for the cabinets. Now the panels, I used 1 8 inch plywood, as you can see in the picture here. I then wrapped everything in some fox wood paper or fake wood paper. Now woodworking is a first for me. I used some chisels, notched out the plywood, installed these hinges, and everything fit really well. I added the magnets to the cabinet tops and then the little magnet pieces to the cabinets so that the cabinets would stay closed. Cut out both tops, wrapped everything in carpet, and then the day came where I picked up my topo topper. As soon as I got it home, I was anxious to get the one cabinet that I had assembled inside the truck. Now to secure the cabinets to the truck, I used these little hooks, drilled holes in them, and then secured them to the bed rails. For the cabinet tops to open up, I made the notches that you can see here so that the cabinets can swing up freely. And there it is, the driver's side cabinet inside the topo topper. This is the passenger side cabinet. I made this cool shelf that I'm pretty proud of. I then started cutting out the panels for this cabinet and everything went really smoothly. I wrapped everything in the fox wood paper, cut out the cabinet top for that one, and when I got here, I had some trouble fitting in the passenger's cabinet with the fridge, but after some adjustments, everything was fitting proper, and I was super excited. On the driver's side cabinet, I cut out a hole, so you can see here, so the power cord can run through, and also the fridge will vent properly. I installed this 2x4 so that the fridge had proper spacing from the back of the camper, so that the fridge could open in the right way. I finished the last paneling for the lower cabinets. Installed this really cool recycled tire floor mat and it really started coming together here and it was starting to feel like my second home. I'm going to be using these clear storage bins and that's going to wrap up the video. Stay tuned for the next one. It'll be an actual video. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.